One of the biggest, or at least most surprising announcements at PlayStation Experience Keynote was the reveal of NAC 2. And we were lucky enough to get an exclusive hands-on and interview with Mark Cerny himself. NAC 2 is indeed an evolution of the original NAC, both in terms of platforming, combat and puzzles. Firstly, the entirety of NAC 2 can be played in cooperative mode, both online and sitting with your friends on the couch, both big and small, because NAC 2 is, like its predecessor, meant for both adults and the smaller ones. This is a ref reflected in the difficulty as well. Choosing easy difficulty will make even the platforming a bit easier because choosing the hard ones will tend to lead you to another route, a more difficult route that even challenges you the more adult of you. Trust me, I died once just a few seconds after certainly told me that it would be fun to see me die once. And that showed that the checkpointing is much better this time around. If you fail a certain segment, chances are you'll just be placed five, ten seconds before that. So that gives both you and the smaller ones time to experiment and have fun without having to repeat the same actions over and over again. Very nice inclusion in my opinion. Another nice inclusion is the improved combat. The combat is now more varied and diverse. This because you can now choose between punching, kicking and grabbing. These can all be combined together to make different kind of combinations depending on what kind of abilities you have through the experience system. That's right, this time we're getting an, an experience system. Because the environments are more now more open, which tends to give you more room to explore and enjoy next new ability to make himself smaller with the push of a button. Yep, you no longer have to do that, it's just in specific cases. Just pushing, I think it was L1, will make you smaller and potential bigger again. This is clearly reflected in the environments. Just platforming through sequences where maybe you might see a small window up in the corner, having to switch to a smaller size while in mid-air will tend to give you some real secrets. These secrets are often rewards such as more experience points to upgrade next powers, make him stronger, give him new abilities, or new gadgets that will give him a more, maybe new attacks and different kinds of advantages that way. Very nice inclusion, once more. I just have to say it really impressed me all in all. They really took the feedback from the orig original game to heart. Every part of the game seems to be improved. Even, uh, once again, the combat, the variety of enemies is now much better. We've met simple goblin looking creatures that were easily defeated by just bashing buttons. And we saw through our progression that you can meet uh, enemies that will be able to block your attacks, which again you will have to use one of your new attack abilities by grabbing, grabbing the enemy or stunning the enemy by either just quickly pushing the triangle button or holding it in. Holding it in will then paralyze your enemy for a few seconds, then he's open to attack. Also, to make these fights even faster, you can, once again, join up with a friend and that's just that's just not two knacks working together it's two knacks almost fusing the powers to really really make it a much more fun experience in my opinion getting to play together with sony was 
really fun because you can yeah, you get new abilities including you can by punching your friend just for fun you can change between you can steal his bits to get be, become stronger or just to have fun crushing him or you can use some one of your attacks to punch through him and make the shrapnel for your from your friend spread across to the enemy which builds is much stronger than the original original attack a very nice inclusion in my opinion so i'm looking forward to learning more about that just to make it short and i'll make a longer i'll speak about this more in the longer version in my article coming later but simple enough knack 2 is a real improvement both to knack lovers and those who were, let's say, more skeptical to the original knack. They really have taken the feedback to heart and made quite a few improvements that will please both the kids and the adults. I'm left very impressed by this game and I'm definitely looking forward to playing more of it, more of it next year before it launches late next year. Stay tuned for more information about knack in the future.